Hey guys, WinLater 11 is finally here, and this latest version is super optimized for GTA 5 Lite. Compared to the older builds, games now run much smoother, even better than the WinLater C mods. So today, I'll show you the complete setup of GTA 5 Lite inside WinLater 11, step by step, on any Android device. And yes, for those who are stuck on the first mission, I'll also show you how to skip it and jump straight into open world gameplay. That's why you don't want to skip this video, every single step is important. Alright guys, let's dive in and see how GTA GTA 5 Lite runs on Android with WinLater 11. Let's go! So guys, the very first step is to install WinLater 11. Just open Google and search for WinLater 11 GitHub. You'll see the official website at the top. Scroll down to the releases section, and from there download and install WinLater 11. Once you open it, WinLater will automatically start setting up. When the setup is complete, swipe left and go into settings. Here, set the cursor speed to full, then under box 64 version choose 0.3.6 and for box 64 preset, select performance mode. This will make your game run at full speed. After that, press OK and create a new container. Now for screen size, if your device is low end, set it to 800 by 600. If it's mid range or good, use 960 by 544. And if you want a wide resolution like me, you can try 960 by 430. Next, go to the graphics driver section. If your device has a Mali GPU, Snapdragon 8 Elite, or any newer Snapdragon CPU, set it to Vortex Universal, and choose either DXVK 1.10.3 or 2.4.1. If you're on a main Snapdragon lineup device, select Turnip, preferably the latest version like 24.0.1, sometimes this gives even better performance. After this, keep all the other WinLater settings as default. Just make sure under box 64 preset you keep performance mode, in startup selection choose aggressive, and for Windows version select Windows 10. Finally, enable select all CPUs, press OK, and you're done. Alright guys, since this is WinLater, there's one more important setting we need to do, otherwise the game won't run and it may show a file's corrupted error. So, after creating the container, run it and open the wine configuration. You'll find this option in the start menu. Inside there, go to the libraries tab and add input 8.dll, then click OK, and that's it. Now, our GTA 5 Lite is fully ready to run smoothly on WinLater 11. Enjoy the extremely smooth performance even better than before. Now for those who want to skip the first mission in GTA 5, here's how you do it. Open the GTA 5 Lite folder, and inside you'll see an extra folder. In this folder, you'll find the files for mission completion. Simply copy those files, then go to the Rockstar folder and paste them there. But sometimes the game doesn't load directly from there. So in that case, paste the same files inside. C drive under Zusser under AppData under Roaming under OptiProject. And also place them in the other two related folders, just to be safe. Once that's done, congratulations! Your setup is complete. And now you can enjoy open world free roaming gameplay in GTA 5 Lite. And guys, don't forget, hit that like button. It's free. And subscribe if you want more tutorials like this. Now guys, here's an important thing to know, your game will run super smooth, but pay attention. The smoother performance depends on how much the game's shaders have already compiled. What that means is, the first time you explore a new area, the FPS might dip a little. But once the shaders are loaded, every next time you move there, the game will run much smoother with better FPS than before. So basically, the more you play, the smoother and faster your gameplay becomes. Every time you open GTA 5 Lite, it will run at higher FPS, giving you the ultimate smooth experience. Play more, explore more, enjoy the max FPS and buttery smooth performance. Alright guys, now let's jump into the gameplay and see WinLater 11 in action with GTA 5 Lite. As you can see, the game is already running way smoother than before. The character movements are fluid, and there's almost no lag while navigating the city. Even driving fast around Los Santos, the FPS stays consistently high giving us that buttery smooth experience. One thing I really like about this setup is how quickly areas load. Earlier, some parts of the city used to stutter, but now the shaders are already compiled. So everything feels seamless, and the graphics look surprisingly crisp, even on mid-range devices. Check this out, switching between missions, running around, or jumping into a car, everything responds instantly. The controls feel natural, and thanks to the Box 64 performance mode, even complex scenes don't drop FPS. Plus, the sound and music sync perfectly which makes the open world feel even more immersive. Honestly, it's impressive how a mobile device can handle this much smooth gameplay without overheating or lagging. So, if you follow the setup exactly like we did, from installing WinLater 11 to tweaking the container settings and adding the input 8.dll, you'll get the best possible experience on GTA 5 Lite. Now go ahead, explore the city, complete missions, or just roam freely, and enjoy the ultra-smooth, high FPS gameplay. And remember, if you like the setup, smash that like button, Share your experience in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tutorials.